Hi, I'm Dev and not very much time passed since the last video, but I have a big, big update regarding the lore. And as I promised, I am back here to talk about it. So since the time I recorded last video, we've been seeing updates on the our game extension, Star Party CTV, every single day. We've been seeing the camera switches, but also every day we started seeing events happening. It started with Leon and Anita stealing candies from Andy, but the next event was the start of something big, and I believe that we're going to be seeing the effects of that event, well, for the rest of the how much the lore event is going to be happening. So what happened, uh, Dynamite was with Jackie in the mines somewhere in the Star Park, and by accident, with this explosion, they discovered some kind of huge gemstone, some source of purple gems. And Dynamite got excited with these gems, and that's what we saw for that day. And now the next day, we witnessed Dynamite throwing a gem to Bull at Bull's Diner, and Bull going absolutely crazy, going from a cook to the, well, let's say, to the character we see in the game. An angry, uh, very punk <laughs> type of guy. So this is what we saw so far. And of course, it would make sense to wait and uh, wait for more of these updates and see how it's going to affect different brawlers in different times. But I guess at this stage already, we can look back a little bit and talk about uh, what it means for the lore that we heard about before. And now I will be trying to answer and theorize a little bit finally uh, as to why this event even is happening. Because last time I was asking a question, what is the point? What do they want to show us with everything that is happening? And I believe that we're seeing one of the main answers already. So to go back, back to the WKBRL era, we had the first radio, and I'm going to insert a clip, of course. And at the end of the major events happening on that radio, first radio, we witnessed a person going crazy in the booth and renting to us for, I think, 24 minutes. It's in your mind. Okay, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. What do I think about? Gems. Why? Because what are they? What are they? How did they get here? I want to know, but I do know, but I don't know. Allegedly, I had someone I can't talk about. But here's what I do know for facts. You change one letter in gems and you get germs. That's right. They got things we ain't even thought about before. And they have before we can even conceive the notion that they exist. And That's what we're talking about. Among what they were saying, they mentioned gems and they were asking, what, what is that? Um, and they were compared to germs, and I mean, of course we took it as something comedic, but now I can kind of see the connection and imagine that probably what he meant by that was that gems are like a disease that spreads around people in Star Park, and uh, we're seeing it right now on the video cameras with Dynamite. Probably will be throwing out gems to different people who will be turning into brawlers, I can theorize and imagine that probably Mandy or Leon and Anita are going to be next. So yeah, that was when we heard about the gems in this context for the first time. And actually maybe it was at the same time when Super City Rampage update was happening. We saw an animation where multiple brawlers when came in contact with some purple stuff, which I assume are gems now became these crazy robots that were attacking the city in Super City Rampage. I believe that is connected, uh, maybe just a coincidence, but to be fair, with the amount of lore and small hidden details, I wouldn't be surprised if that was connected to what was happening that summer. And now, moving forward, um, in this update we got changes of the descriptions for all the brawlers, and in Carl's description it's talked about how he's fascinated by gems, his new obsession, definitely connected to the lore and the gems that are affecting and are going to be affecting all the events of Star Park now. Probably what caused the chaos and what destroyed the Star Park. And on that note, um, where the theorizing is coming is 
I guess what we were also teased a bit earlier and might be connected to the whole gem thing are the hyperchargers because uh, they're purple, they're also sparkly and they enhance Brawler's abilities. So I would assume that gems are some kind of mind control plus enhancer that um, unleashes some inner character or unleashes some inner emotions that the person has and turns them into this kind of like well, I don't want to say the uh, like a killing machine, but in a way they are because the Brawl Stars is a non-stop game with killing, respawning, killing, respawning, and this is how the game works. So probably, probably it is fitting to say it this way. Regardless, I think that it is it is a really big deal that we're seeing all of this now, and I think it is their great moment to get into the lore for anybody who was not following to check the video cameras to check the social media because uh this is how we're gonna be probably seeing the origins of all of the brawlers and with people it's easy kind of if we if if the bulls example is going to be and dynamax example are going to be repeating to other people in star park we can kind of say that okay that that makes sense but what about robots in the game and about creatures Probably when with robots, when some objects that are not alive come in contact or somehow interact or get uh, some radiation from these gems, they're going to be getting their own sanity and coming alive because uh, I believe that this is the most logical way of how uh, we're going to be seeing the development with robots. And about Spike and Crow, probably when some animals or objects like cactus come in contact with gems, they get consciousness as well. I believe that it's just a matter of waiting and seeing. But what does it tell us in general picture? Because, well, at least what I can say, what I think from the lore now compared to 2020, is that now we're getting more answers than questions, because when that was happening, we were just thrown in huge amounts of information from investor video to the radio that was broadcasting different sounds it didn't answer much it was bringing up questions and now we're seeing what we saw the aftermath in 2020 with investor video how everything was falling apart and now we're seeing the actions that i believe were before everything went wrong and before the investor video happened and uh the star park executives tried to salvage the situation by getting more people to invest in the park so yeah i think it's rather interesting to see a little bit of a different side to the lore and how it's playing out i think that the main point of the lore event that is happening right now is for us to see and experience the uh, creation of the brawlers uh, for regular people who were workers in the park or visitors in the park, how they ended up with their character traits and how they end up with their uh, roles in the game. Someone with guns or something with some rage or some someone who attacks with dynamite like dynamite. <laughs> the event is long, I would assume, because we're just in the beginning of the notebook. So we're going to be witnessing more and more chaos over time i would assume that as well as us seeing the brawlers and how they were made we'll be seeing possibly uh how everybody gets respawned for example because well if we pretend and imagine the star park is a real place and uh, there are real people of course the getting killed and getting revived does not happen in real life so i think that we'll be seeing that there but to be honest it is just really fun that uh we get to know we get to know the main cause of the madness that is brawl stars and that is this crazy amusement park and i would not be surprised if there would be some uh events in the game or with content creators that uh maybe if you were following lauren 2020 you remember that star hats were the main thing that was pushed as the idea like this is how mind control it is done 
And I think that now we're going to be seeing these gems, crystals, uh, be the main attraction of this event. So I'm really excited. Stay tuned for more daily updates from them. And I'm going to try to include as much information to the video as I can regarding uh, if anything new pops up or if I come up with anything new. But overall, thank you for watching. This is quite fun and I was excited in the first video, but now I'm excited even more about this because the things are happening now. On that note, thank you again uh, and hopefully see you soon again. This, this is the problem of everything. The small purple gems. Yep. No, that was cringe.